Hey guys, Profe Pablo here with another Minecraft tutorial. I do not have my fancy computer with me, so this is going to be a very quick and easy tutorial. Uh, this is how to make trash cans in your Minecraft world. Now, some of you might be thinking, I know how to make a trash can. I just dig down some blocks, and then if I have stuff I don't want anymore, then I start throwing it in there, and then I'll either leave it or cover it back up. Sure, you could do that. Um, I like having trash cans. It's just nice to have. So for this build, you will need a trap chest, a hopper, a dropper, a comparator, two repeaters, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of redstone. And the way this works, and this will all be underground, except for the chest, is you open the trap chest and put some stuff in that you want to throw away, like cobblestone. Now, the trap chest is not going to activate the hopper until it closes. That way, if you accidentally put something else in there, like something you want, it won't go away right away until you close the chest. And then it drops through here and automatically gets dropped underground until it is all gone out of the trash can. So uh, I've I've made this in other worlds. I found it very, very useful. So I'm going to make one now underground. So I'm in creative mode. Uh, you need to pick anywhere. I do not suggest sand because it falls on itself. So uh, let's make one up here in this open area. Okay, the first thing you want to do is dig four blocks down. One, two, three, four. And uh, actually, let's go five. And we are going to have a hopper underground and the dropper. So I'm going to go ahead and put the dropper. Oops, let me find it real quick. Usually I edit all this stuff out, but I don't have my nice computer with me, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to place the dropper so that it's facing down. And let's see right there, yeah. Now it's very dark down here. Uh, I could put a torch if I wanted to, but I'm just going to carve one over and then carve straight up. There we go. So I guess if you didn't want to deal with the light issues, just do two blocks, four down. Okay, uh, so now we have a dropper pointing down. That's good. On top of that dropper, you want to place a hopper. Just like that. On top of that hopper, place a trapped chest. And that's essentially it. All we have to do is the wiring. Now this works out really well uh, because the wiring is going to be two blocks underground anyway so that it connects to the dropper. And that's perfect for us because then uh, it'll get covered with dirt afterward. Okay, so out of the dropper, you need to put a comparator and then a repeater. And then this needs wiring, so you need redstone. This needs wiring that runs out of this repeater and back into the comparator. It creates a clock, and I use this clock all the time, but what it does is it reads if there's anything in the dropper and sends out a pulse signal. Then you need to uh, come over here and make wiring that goes this way just like that. Um, actually, you know what? It has to be the same side as this. So we'll just do that. There we go. So it has to connect to this red line so that it, redstone line so that it pulses. Let me get some dirt so I can cover everything back up. Okay. And then you will want to place a redstone repeater going back into the dropper. So uh, we can test it out real quick. Dumping stuff in the trash can and it fires away, this dropper is empty, this chest is empty, the trash has been taken out. Cover everything back up with dirt, or grass blocks, or whatever you want. And that is a trash can, and then if you want to, make sure you label it, because in future videos I'm gonna show you a similar method, but making dropper lines that go back to your fort. So, now we have a, a trash can that works, um, and you just make sure you don't throw anything valuable in there, and it disappears out of sight, out of mind. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.